friends, today I'm sharing with you how I package my paintings in order to ship them in the mail. Recently I did a commission for someone down in Southern California of an oil painting about this size and I needed to find a way to package it. Um, and I think this is like the best way in my experience of how to ship something that's not going to break the bank but also will make sure that your painting will arrive to its location without any damage. My go-to for packaging for paintings and canvases is what is called the FedEx Art Box with the Air Float System. I would highly recommend calling your local FedEx first to make sure that they carry it because not all of them do. This one with the Air Float System is my favorite because it costs $14.99 for this medium-sized box. Um, I'm not sponsoring anything, it's just actually like what I use. And yeah, so just call your local FedEx and ask if they have the art box with an air float system. The painting I'll be using as an example in this video is this 16 inch by 20 inch gallery wrapped oil painting of mine. This painting is available for purchase on my Etsy if you're interested. It'll be listed down below. Other materials you'll need will be a pair of scissors, some packaging tape, um, some string, which I will explain why later. And then I also like to use some custom stickers of my own art designs and a little thank you note that has my contact information so that way the patron can pass my information along to other people. One last recommended supply to use is some acid-free craft paper. I got a roll of this from Amazon about a year ago. It's puncture resistant and it adds like a last line of defense for your painting. I also think it kind of gives a nice touch aesthetically so that way your art patron can see the thoughtfulness in your handling of the art during the packaging process. I got this recommendation from the art YouTuber Mal Makes. She also uses a slightly different version of the FedEx art box so I'll link her down below if you want to check her out. And at this point I like to add a customized sticker and a little thank you note with my contact information. So the FedEx system comes in three components and a plastic bag. It looks a little confusing, but it's actually pretty simple once you kind of visualize the steps. Let's do the first part. Essentially, you're going to take out the long sides like this, and then you're going to fold in these flaps right here. Now there are these four accordion looking cardboard sides in the tray and you're going to pull them up and just tighten it around the painting so that way it sort of floats the painting into the center of the tray. So here's where that string comes in handy. The instructions on the FedEx art box say that you can use tape or some other way to adhere the plastic bag to those accordion flaps, but I actually like to use um, a string and then secure the string by kind of cutting into the cardboard flaps a little bit and then just tying a really tight bow. And this way there's very little damage to the actual plastic holding your painting. And then it just floats inside the tray and then you just slide the tray into the second sleeve. And then from there you have the outermost layer and just tape that down. And then you just slide the sleeve into the box and you are good to go. That painting is not going to budge or move anywhere and it's pretty much damage free. 
you'll definitely break out in a sweat trying to assemble that box by yourself. Um, I definitely recommend having two people with you if you can because it makes it 10 times easier and faster, but it is doable on your own. Um, don't forget, if you're interested in that oil painting, it is linked in my Etsy, so uh, definitely check that out if you really liked that oil painting. Um, also check out my channel if you're interested in um, a lot of art videos and art vlogs, and um, if you have any suggestions or questions for me, definitely add them down below, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!